What's amazing about ChatGPT is that it got million users in just six days. So what I want to do in this tutorial is one, I want to try it out. And also I have this restaurant uh, food ordering app built in, I did it in one of my tutorials. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to also create a website for food ordering. And at the end, I'm going to compare it. So it's kind of like ChatGPT versus me. So here we have some like example prompts, which I'm going to skip. And first I'm going to tell it to generate code, HTML and CSS of a restaurant website that is mobile responsive. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. Oh, it even separated the HTML and CSS. That's pretty cool. And I think it hits uh, a limit up to certain characters. But I've heard that if you press, say, like next, it should continue. Let's let's test that out. To continue with CSS code, you can use media queries to make the website responsive. Here's an example. Oh, so it's like. It's not going to do it, but it's giving us an example of how to do it, which is pretty informative. And I do see this useful for like learning purposes. Okay. You can also use CSS grid or Flexbox to create a risk for the main content. Wow. <laughs> oh, and it's giving out the grid layout. This helps let you know if you need further assistance. Okay, let's first copy just the HTML, see what we have, and then add some CSS. Okay, so this is the HTML code. We don't have any styling and there's no like images, so that could be added. But for, I guess we have menu at the top, some items, location and about, which is Pretty important parts of the restaurant website. Now let's add some CSS. So I'm gonna the head style. Okay, let's okay. Then I asked it for to continue, so maybe close this out and some media queries. Okay, let's reload. Okay, this is pretty good. It even added hover over the menu we have i guess this is supposed to be the logo and then didn't do much styling on the menu but footer is also centered let's see since i asked specifically for mobile responsive i guess it is somewhat responsive everything the this is centered so this is my food ordering gap to be honest this pizza photo here does look amateur but for the rest of it, let's see menu. Oh, it's loading. I think I don't have it connected to server. I guess ChatGPT did load the menu. So one point for that. And maybe besides menu, we can ask to create like a cart page and see how it does. Oh, that's a lot of, I guess it created the form. So maybe just copy the main section here. So it created form tag, pretty good labels, input type, even the name for, okay. That's nice. And let's see here, where's our main? Cause it messes up the... Okay, my restaurant. That's the form. So it shows 
card items even total and then billing information placement information and then the submit button okay and we can say next I don't think targeting with the input type is necessary here to be honest we can just say check out form input but I guess there's a reason for it there's missing a that creates displays on oh, and at the end of it I love this that it just explains what it did so displays a list of items it's very helpful I guess when doing tutorials and there's some piece of code that somebody like misses to explain and you just put the code in and it generates the explanation maybe that could be used that way a list of items and as well as form for the user to enter their billing and pay for information styles the page and organizes the layout okay and then it gives warning that this is just an example let's start copying this into our CSS. I guess some of the styles might overwrite or it might assume be similar. Padding. Okay, so everything looks right. Okay, so, so it stretched out the form, it even colors the button, and yeah, it, the sizings are same on the smaller screen. Yeah, I think it did a pretty good job, and I do see use case of this, like, sometimes automating, automating some parts of the code, kind of like CMSs do, or even maybe like generating fake data, which you can generate today too, but you have to yourself like define all the fields and edge cases so this could automate a lot of things I imagine also note taking sometimes I for example learn something and do it but never like take notes about it or spend the time to describe it so then I like kind of forget so you know, AI at the end of the day, your technology is used to supercharge as, as developers or as uh, help artists, for example. There's a lot of use cases. So this could be one of the two implemented, but I definitely don't think that it will take any jobs. It will just take the automation part of the jobs. So it leaves us with, you know, more creativity, which is a great thing. So that's it for my comparison. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, what could be improved, what you want to try next. And let me know also, this is my first time doing this kind of video. So if you liked it and wanted to see some more examples of it.